The goal of this project is to construct an ice bath for less than $100 because if you look online, everything is $8,000, $1,200, $4,000. Some of them are $20,000. No one wants to spend that on an ice bath, but a lot of us do want to have our own ice bath set up and one that looks nice too. It shouldn't be a total eyesore in your yard. So my plan is to make one for less than $100 and to show you how you can do it too and how you can maintain it for free so you don't have to buy $5 bags of ice every single morning when you're ready to take your ice bath. So now let's head to Home Depot and start shopping. All right, here we are, the Home Depot. Happy Father's Day. Time to start clearing out our area. We're gonna put it right here, clean off that lattice, dig out some sod, put down some pavers, and we're good to go. All right, so it's about 9 p.m. and I just finished digging out the spot that's gonna hold my pavers, my foundation, and ultimately my ice bath. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna lay out all the pavers, so talk to you guys soon. All right guys, we ran into a little bit of an issue. So that first tub is not really water rated and it ended up cracking under the outward pressure of all of that water. So we're off to Tractor Supply to get one that's just a little bit bigger and better and hopefully a similar cost. Here is tub number two. It is a little bit bigger and stronger. This one has a hundred gallon capacity instead of 70 and this one should hold up just fine. <laughs> got our reusable ice cubes made of the water bottles. So the reason that we use the frozen water bottles in this is because they are reusable, therefore you're not wasting a bunch of plastic, right? These are gonna have a really long lifetime. As soon as you throw them in, 
they're already making your water colder. And if you do this with a whole case of water bottles, it's going to lower the temperature significantly. And if you really live in a hot place and you need to do it with two cases of water, that's not a big deal either because again, they're cheap and they're reusable. In here and we are trying to get the temperature down. Right now it's at about 63 and then it's time to get in. All right, so we've got about 75 gallons of water in the tub. We've got our reusable ice cubes made of the water bottles and a little bit of extra ice from the freezer just to make sure it's super cold for this first run. This is the hard part, is getting in. So the best thing to do is just pick a number. I do this whenever I have to do anything scary and just count backwards from that number. So for me, it's gonna be five, four, Three, two, one. Very important to control your breathing. Relax into it. Don't try and fight it. Of course it's cold. We know it's cold. We know it feels cold, and that's why we're doing it. It's amazing how relaxing it is, and at the same time, how stressful it is. It's so peaceful, yet so chaotic. It's beautiful. So the best part about all of this is that we made it for under $150, because the original tub, the original tub was $70, that one didn't work out. This one ended up being about 120, and then plus the cost of the stone, the pavers, the water bottles, everything comes out to less than $150. So you can do this yourself. It doesn't have to look and feel a certain way. We're just using frozen water bottles here. There's no right way to do this, as long as you can do it. As long as you're teaching yourself this discipline, and it takes a lot of discipline for sure. You eventually get to a point where you know you're still very cold, but you almost feel this warmth inside your body. Very interesting. And there's just, there's just no way to recreate that feeling other than trying it yourself. Can't forget to dunk the head, but if you're going to dunk your own head, make sure that you do it with the supervision of someone around because you risk what's called a cold water blackout and we don't want any of that and I don't want any of that and I don't recommend that you do it. And with that said. That, that kicks it up a notch. The total cost of this project was about $150, which is so much better than spending thousands on something that does the exact same thing as this. So if you're looking for more ways to get your life together, make sure you follow, like, subscribe, drop a comment, show support, and thanks for watching.